Welcome to another episode of Carbs. I'm not going to see no car and BS. Welcome to be Carbs. Matt Dine here. We are back at Red Robin for a really cool new burger that they have. Before we get into that though, click right there to help support our Patreon page if you feel that you wish to do so or go in the description for the link if you want to get our mid-month challenges and main shows early, then that is an option for you. This is the Buzz Mac and Cheese Tavern Double Burger. Two perfectly seasoned fire grilled patties piled high with creamy Buzz Mac and Cheese, yeah. Pepper Jack cheese and spicy Buzz Ranch sauce on a sesame seed bun. It's a tavern double awesomeness served with bottomless steak fries. And this is uh, $8.99. So let's jump on into this thing, get it out. Yeah, whip it out. Let's take it out right here, right now. I don't care if I'm in public. I'm just going to take it out. I don't care. Go ahead and look. Oh my. I got to promote this even more though. Look at how fucking sweet this ghost shirt is. This, this, this ghost shirt is the best. Okay, here we go. Super hungry, so that should help things along. I will say, first and foremost, it's much smaller than your usual Red Robin burger. I mean, like, much smaller. This looks like you would get this at a fast food place. Like, this looks like either McDonald's or, like, a Burger King. Mostly McDonald's. But you can see the mac and cheese is on there. We have our regular cheese and our patties and that sauce. It does come with lettuce and uh, tomatoes, but... Ugh, gross, so I'm gonna complain about it, and then you'll complain about it in the comments. It's the circle of hate! Uh, this caught my eyes because of the mac and cheese. I was like, that is that is a cool gimmick. I'm willing to spend the money on it. But also, to its credit, it's a lot cheaper than your usual burger. Usual burger at Red Robin goes between $12 and $14, so it might be a smaller burger, but it does cost less. So, I mean, I guess that, that does offset it. Here we go, let's try it out. I both like and dislike this. Flavor-wise, it is really good. That sauce, that buzz sauce is, ugh. Mac and cheese, the pasta does add an extra bit of texture to it. That's very different than your usual burger here. Complaints, it does kind of remind me of a McDonald's burger. Uh, just in terms of texture of the bun, this bun sucks. Uh, I do not like the bun. It, It's just, it's literally just a cheap bun you could get at any market or McDonald's. I'm gonna keep saying McDonald's because that's what this feels like. So flavor-wise, I enjoy it. And texture of the mac and cheese I enjoy, but I really don't think that I like the texture overall on this. Not much at all. So I'm kind of 50-50 split on it. The cheese is also really good. I do taste everything, which is nice. There's nothing that dominates the entire experience. I taste every little bit of the burger, but man, I hate the bun. I hate it. I, if they had just put this on one of their normal Red Robin burger buns, then I think that I would be all about it. But as is, I would give this a very high three. It's slightly below average. And in terms of Red Robin reviews, that's probably one of the lowest things I've ever given one of their items, or at least one of their burgers. Love the idea, but I just I can't get past how cheap it feels. It just feels like something that Chris made in his spare time, like he's at home, he had mac and cheese, and he's got, you know, burger ingredients, and he just kind of slapped it together. Just a little better quality check uh, I would have enjoyed, but I just ate a little piece of cheese because I could. Either way, that is the new Buzz Mac and Cheese Burger that they have on their tavern menu. They have a lot of other stuff. If there's something else you want to see me review at Red Robin, let me know in the comments down below. But that's it, guys! What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments down below, and we'll see you on the next episode.